What are the two most important things for a believer on earth that he's taught to hold close to his heart? One of those things is faith. His faith in his God. See, where there's no miracles, where there's no sign, faith is what keeps you going. The second thing that's close to the heart of any believer is his hope of what? Salvation. Because although we are now part of God's family by adoption, guess what? We are not yet saved because we are still part of the human race. And when I say save, I'm talking about the perpetual eternal salvation that will come when the day of the Lord comes. That's when man will truly be saved through Christ. But we are being saved by the spirit of life within us. We are part of his family, but we are still in this world. We are part of the, his family, but we are still subject to the tribulations of this world. We are part of his family, but we are still subject to the plagues of this world. So guess what? We hope for his coming. We hope for our redemption. We hope for the kingdom that is to come because when the kingdom comes, we would become perfect. When our kingdom fully comes upon the earth and rules the earth, everyone who is a part of that kingdom would become kings and princes would leave us royalty. Why we still suffer on the earth is because the kingdom is with man in the spirit by the gospel, but the kingdom has not fully yet conquered the earth. It is when the kingdom conquers the earth, and how do you know the kingdom con has conquered the earth? Christ will now be the ruler of the earth. Until Christ rules the earth, kingdom has not conquered the earth. Until Christ rules the earth, the kingdoms of this world has not yet fully been put under his government. Until Christ rules the earth, demons will still have free flow to possess people and to cause chaos upon the earth. But when the kingdom fully comes, then the sons of God will be glorified. So our glorifying is in his, is in his coming. So we hope for our glorifying. We hope for our reward. We hope for the life that will be given to us when the kingdom comes. But there's one very crucial thing that a lot of people miss as part of our utensils and as part of our important pillars that we must hold close to our heart. So first is our faith, second is our hope, thirdly is our connection. Now this part of our work with the Lord is one that is scarcely emphasized. Meanwhile it is very important because you can never be a son of God and claim to lack connection with God. It's impossible. If you lack connection to God, you may be doing religious activity. Your pastor may tell you that you are a son of God, but you are not. Are we together? You have faith, you have hope, but you need connection. So guess what? A lot of people have faith and hope, but they lack connection to God. If they find anyone who claims to have connection with God, they now go through that person as their router to God. So they have faith and hope, but their connection to God is a pastor. And God forbid the day the pastor falls, they end up in despair. Because faith and hope without connection will lead you to despair. So the day the pastor is no longer available, they have faith, they have hope, but they end up in despair. Why? There's no connection to keep faith and hope alive. If you study scriptures carefully, you discover that faith is not blind. We are blind to this world, but we, are, we have sight in faith. Because if faith doesn't have sight, then in faith we too will be blind. So he said, we walk by faith and not by our physical sight. It means faith also has sight. Abraham's faith was alive because of what he connected to. Not just because of the faith and the hope he had. There was an eternal being he had connection to, which caused him to have faith and hope in that being. The majority of what we call faith and hope is blind illusion in our generation. You have faith in God. Have you touched him tangibly? I have hope in God. Do you have active connection with God? Now that's where sons rule. Uh, that's where sons saw. That's what separates sons from every other person. We can all be religious here. But the one who has active connection with God is the one that's the son of God. Because as one who is the son of God, you can actually pray the father here. And whether I say will is not his will, no, because you are his son, you can ask the father and he will send. So we just get stuck on faith and hope without any connection. So guess who our connections with God becomes? Man. Man becomes our connection to God. And here this person, I'm a Benin Elohim. I'm a son of God. But his connection to God is man. What is the connection a man who is born of God sustains with God that shows to him that he is a son of God. So guess what? Faith is important. Hope is important. But connection to God is most important. Because 
Faith and hope will lead to despair without connection. Abraham did not believe fables. There was a deity that appeared to him. So on that which appeared to him, he hoped. On that which appeared to him, he showed faith. 